Hi everyone, we're going to graph this piecewise defined function and we're also going to test for continuity at x equals zero. That just means we're going to see if the function's continuous at the places where it seems like the graphs are changing. Now what I did is usually we read the graph from left to right and uh, this piece would, I interchange these two pieces when I um, wrote it on the next two slides because I usually don't write it like that, but I, this is how it was given to me. So uh, what I did is I switched these around. Um, so the first thing we do is going to test for continuity. And we want to know what's going on around 0, so we're testing x equals 0, and we're seeing if it's continuous there. So that means our c is 0. Is it continuous at 0? So we're going to plug in f of 0. We have to plug it into this portion. So at f of 0, that's going to equal 2 times 0 plus 3 is 3. We, it does exist. We do have a value. So condition 1 does exist. Now condition 2 just means that the, the limits on either side of 0 have to exist. So therefore, if I take the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of my function, that means all numbers less than 0, that should equal the limit of all my numbers that are to the right of 0. So basically negative numbers versus positive numbers. And all you're going to do is plug in your zeros. So to the left, that means all numbers less than 0, I'm going to plug it in there. So when I plug in 0, we have 0 plus 4, that's 4. When I plug it into the right, I get 0 plus 3, and that's 3. These two do not equal. Therefore, the, the left and right-hand side limits do not equal. That means uh, this limit does not exist. That means we're just done. So condition 2 is, is not satisfied. So the function is not continuous. So let's graph it and see what's going on. So I guess I did write it this way for this one. So I'm going to graph this one first. At 0, this is where all the action's happening. So at 0, what's going on? So what I do is I plug in 0 for uh, this function. And um, 0 plus 4 is 4. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, but it can't equal it. All right, if I plug in negative 1, a number less than 0, for this one, I'm going to get 3. And all I need is two points. I, I, I notice the slope is 1. These are linear, so you only need two points, basically. So that's what the left side of 0 looks like. Now, on the right side of 0, we plug in 0, and we get 3, but it can equal it. So that's um, shaded in. And if I plug in 1, that's going to uh, map to 5. So basically... When you draw it, you get this. Now what you notice is that um, the left hand, uh, this, is, this is why it wasn't continuous. Here's your left hand side of zero. Here's your right hand side of zero. And there's a jump. So this is called a jump discontinuity. That's why the function was not continuous. That's why it wasn't continuous, uh, and condition two failed. All right, that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.